actually speed up your workflow, but it's not like a one click and you have content sort of thing. Oh, sh okay. In this video, I wanna give you some more advanced tips and tricks so you can make Jasper work a lot better. If you wanna see my full review or more beginner stuff, go check out the links in the description below. I'll leave my Jasper review in the beginner stuff there. This is more advanced. Last thing, okay. If you want a free trial for Jasper, you can use my affiliate link in the description and you'll get like 10,000 words for free so you can try it out. Okay, I think they're gone. Let's get into the tips. Tip number one would be to think of Jasper like a robot assistant, meaning it has no idea what you want or what to do. It's a robot, it can't actually think for itself, even though we call it AI, so you have to give it detailed instructions. The more details you can give it, the better that robot will be at giving you what you want. Think of it as a robot assistant. That's important, that's the most lame tip on here, but it's still vital, moving on. The second tip would be to feed Jasper the facts and opinions. Those are two things that Jasper does not do well at all, facts and opinions. It doesn't know what you think. So what you can do is just brainstorm a few notes. This would be for a Cloudways hosting review article. I'm just gonna copy that and literally feed it into Jasper at the very top of my post. So the AI in its content look back will now have this information already once it starts composing. For example, I wrote an intro, I put, uh, we all know your website needs to be speedy, but is Cloudways worth it? My opinion is yes. And now that Jasper actually has that information, here we go, blah, 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 blah. Prices start at just $12 a month, so it's very affordable too. Basically, it read my opinions, yes, it's one of the fastest I've seen and I can recommend it. It also pulled in the data, the 12 month, uh, $12 a month plan, et cetera, et cetera. Prices start at $12 a month, so it's very affordable too. Facts, opinions, that sort of stuff. Jasper has no idea what's in your brain or what's correct, so give it the factual information in your recommendations and opinions before you even start writing at the top of your document. You'll obviously delete this when you publish your article later, but just feed that information into Jasper. Tip number three is very closely related. Go ahead and feed additional talking points and your outline into Jasper as well. I just brainstormed a little outline here, but before I even do that, let's let Jasper actually have a stab at it. Write an outline for the headline above. I will see what it comes up with, but basically that's actually really good. Um, advantages, how does Cloudways work? What is cloud, cloud hosting? Let's just do that in general. Okay, I edited the outline it gave me just for you know stuff I wanted to talk about, my talking points. And I usually just copy this or actually cut it and continue to paste it right above here. And you can always just copy and paste this later. Oops, I'm gonna copy this. We'll say I wrote an intro and then down here, I would just paste that in, make it an H2, and then continue writing and composing or whatnot. But it's nice to give Jasper this additional context, just like we did before. With your facts and opinions, go ahead and put down your talking points as well. Also, a great uh, thing you can do with the outline is, what I might do is do the feature, which we'll talk about in a second, and do write a, a content brief with the outline above. And basically you're uh, just copying and paste this. Da, 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 da. That actually looks pretty good. I would copy this and paste it in here, the content brief, put my title in there. And now if I use the compose function, it's gonna have that much more context to what to create. Tip number four is incredibly important. Edit as you go. Don't just let Jasper spit out block after block after block of copy because it's continuing to learn from itself. It does the content look back. It reads of what's already there and uses that information going forward. So if you edit as you go along for grammar, for facts and opinions, for formatting, Jasper will actually learn from all that stuff. Your tone of voice, it will actually try to mimic what came before it. If you edit as you go, the outputs will continue to get better and better and better to by the end of a blog post, it'll be very, very intuitive at knowing what formatting you wanna use, what you actually want to say. Don't just take its output for granted, generate some output and then edit it for formatting, your style, your tone, the data, and then start composing again with Jasper. It's gonna learn from the content that's already there. 
Tip number five would be to let Jasper finish your sentences after a transitional word. For example, I have my intro right here. In fact, it's the fastest host I've used. Cloudways is blah, blah, blah. I say, but there is a catch, comma. Now, if I just hit the compose function, let's see what it says. Because Cloudways is a bit more expensive, it's talking about price. That is not what I wanted to say. What you could do is this, but there's a catch. The setup process is, now I'm gonna hit compose, and there we go, that's what I wanted to say. It's a bit more complicated, however, once you get it set up, it's a breeze to use, so on and so forth. Basically, Jasper actually does things one word at a time. So whatever the last word you wrote is, wherever your cursor is, that's like the very first thing it looks for, and it's asking itself, what is the very next word to come? I love writing like half of a sentence myself based on what I want to say next, and then just letting Jasper finish it, and then it'll go off on a rant and get off topic. I'll delete that stuff, and then I'll write the first couple of words of the next sentence and just let Jasper finish. Going through the document this way generally just keeps it on track with what I want to do in the article. What I want to say next, I make sure to get that without even let it, letting Jasper take a stab at it. I just let it complete my thought for me. I give it 25%, it does the remaining like 50 to 75. Let's do one more example. But not to worry, see below four. My full Cloudways hosting review and tutorial on how to set it up. Okay. The next tip, uh, very quickly, is to just go ahead and get used to deleting Jasper's work constantly. You're not doing Jasper wrong or poorly if you end up deleting a lot of what it uses. In fact, that's totally normal. Every single YouTuber I've seen who does a lot of Jasper deletes a lot of their stuff. I'm literally just gonna put it in here and I'm just gonna like hit compose and see where this goes. I'll probably use like the first sentence or two and then I will end up deleting stuff. Like, nope, that's actually not where I wanted to go from that. I'm just gonna delete it and say, in fact, comma, and then just compose again. It took me a while to get a little thing set up, yada, yada. Okay, and then I went to what is cloud hosting? Okay, I'm not ready to go there yet. Just delete. I just wanna let you know it's totally normal if you find yourself deleting a ton of Jasper's stuff. Which leads me to the next two tips, which aren't necessarily to have Jasper do better content, but it will save you time and money, which is what we're all here to do, save time and money. The next one is to limit Jasper's outputs to one or two. Yeah, you could do like three or four at a time, but you're not gonna use all of them, probably. You can always generate more, and so why not just save yourself some credit? Sometimes the very first one will be fine, and then you can just copy and paste and go. You won't have wasted these word credits. And to that end, I already mentioned how I love letting it finish my sentences. One awesome way to, again, save not only word credits, but time, because it takes the Jasper AI a few seconds to run, is to limit its output length to shorter. Not medium or long, just leave it at shorter, because you're gonna end up deleting content anyways. Just leave it on short and go from there. We'll see it in action. Cloud hosting is, and then I will just let it hit compose here. Okay. So I don't know what was gonna come next. Chances are it was gonna go off into some different direction. Well, that's not, didn't end up being that bad. But the point was, I like to limit it to a short output so I can check a little bit at a time, edit as I go. And then quite frankly, it just saves me deleting stuff anyways. And it uses less word credits. Tip number nine is a little bit of a lame one, but I'll say it anyways, cause Jasper is a not very smart robot. When in doubt, just write a little more yourself. Remember what we're going for, overall time savings. If you find yourself letting Jasper get way too off track or way out of hand or write way too much and you're, you're deleting way too much, go ahead and write a little bit yourself. Yes, it's not as fast as just hitting the compose button for sure, but Jasper is learning from you and what you want it to say. So when in doubt or just honestly start writing yourself. This is way different than shared hosting, comma, and I will let Jasper take over. Uh, you can see I've already talked a lot about doing a little bit of the work yourself and giving more detail to the AI so it actually knows where you wanna go. It knows what you want to say. Without your inputs, that robot is has no idea exactly what you want and where you go, and you are still the boss of your articles. I think it's absolutely correct. 
crutch. Try to say clutch and crucial. It's absolutely crucial to give the detailed instructions to Jasper. And part of the way you do that is simply by writing yourself. It's going to pick up on your tone, your style, and your formatting, and your data and facts and opinions. It'll pick up and learn from you. Tip number 10, very similar, be very specific with the instructions. So I'm using the paragraph generator, advantages of using Cloudways hosting. And I will let it generate a couple of inputs here. And quite frankly, again, it doesn't really know what the advantages are, or especially doesn't know what I think the advantages are. So one way I can almost guarantee these outputs are going to be better is if I actually tell it right up here. It doesn't have to take forever. In fact, you can literally just add the words. Advantages of using Cloudways hosting. One of the advantages, it's very affordable, very easy to use. Okay, well, this one was just flat out wrong. So what I would say here is um, scalable pricing, comma, really fast front end user experience. And then how about um, great customer support. Now, if I do that and literally just do the outputs again, it's going to write a paragraph that hopefully takes a little bit more of that into account. Again, this is a repeated theme all throughout this video, but you have to tell this silly robot what to say, and it can generate the words for you, but be specific. Cloudways has a lot of great features. You need to scalable pricing. That means you can, okay, it's filling in the blanks. Uh, it also means customers will have a good experience on your word, your website, fast front end user experience. It wrote exactly what I wanted it to do. I didn't have to write the sentences. All I had to do was literally just put in the data, right? The specific data that I wanted it to write about. Boom. Now it's in there. Good to go. The next tip is to use the three asterisks to prevent Jasper from reading the content above it. So if you just insert the three asterisks, Jasper is going to ignore everything that came before this. I rarely ever use this because I actually like Jasper to kind of know all this information. Again, that's why I feed it this, but it can be helpful if you find Jasper is repeating itself. If you find Jasper repeating itself, try using this before like each subheader or different sections. I might've put one like right here and it will absolutely repeat itself less because it's not going to be reading what you've already said. There are good things and bad things about this. I like Jasper to know as much as possible about the previous content, but again, at times when it is repeating itself, just try this out. It won't read anything above the three asterisks. I wish they would give me single line commenting out, single line ignores, but they don't have that feature yet. Tip number 12 would be to use voice dictation on your computer, Windows or Mac, to kind of create content faster. And it, this is kind of like a general tip, but one thing I really like about it in Jasper specifically is using voice dictation for commands. Write an intro paragraph, stuff like that. The reason is voice dictation formatting can kind of get wonky if you've ever tried it before. Then you're, you're going back and you're fixing some words and stuff like that. But with the Jasper commands, it generally knows what you're trying to say, even with funky formatting or an extra space at the beginning of the line or whatever. That stuff doesn't matter as much and then Jasper will just delete that once it runs the command anyways. I can't demonstrate it right now because I'm recording this video. I tried to get it to work because my mic is going into this camera or whatever. I couldn't get it to work to show you right now, but it works. Voice dictation. Yay. Tip number 13 would be to always, always, always use the built-in plagiarism checker. Yes, you will have to load up a few more dollars here and there, but it's, a, it's just a couple of cents right? It's literally seven cents for these like 500 words. It's not bad at all. Always, always, always do this. Just don't take any chances, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It's worth the $10 to upload on there one time. That'll last you thousands and thousands and thousands of words, like literally 100,000 words, if not more. It's worth it. Do that every time. And technically, the last tip is to don't give up. It's gonna take you a little while to figure out your own workflow within Jasper. It took me a long time. I went through three separate trials before I was able to figure it out. So if you don't get it with your first article or your first three articles, just, just keep going and you will figure it out. It's like any other piece of software. You do have to learn to use it. A lot of people expect AI to mean automatic, auto pilot, is going to be doing it for me, and that's not the case. You do have to spend a little bit of time learning how to use it. Next up, go check out these videos, which I'll link to right here and in the description below, 
to actually see me doing all these things in process. I have a few videos where I actually write a blog post in Jasper, and I want you to go check those out. It's gonna show you these things in action and give you that much more context to making Jasper work for you. There you go. And if you wanna give Jasper a try and you haven't signed up already, use my affiliate link. It's also in the video below. Love you guys. Happy Jaspering. Adios.